Well, look who it is. Fuck me, I feel like it's been ages. Hi, hey, hello, how's it going? I have a very strong urge and need to just apologize for the lack of content on this channel. I'm so sorry. Part of me really wants to sit down and do an entire video just explaining the last few months of my life and why it's been so difficult for me to upload and where I've been, etc, etc. But then the other part of me is like, shut the fuck up, no one cares, just upload your content. So in the spirit of discussing things that we probably don't need to be discussing, we are gonna have a little chat, a little catch up, a little let's discuss. There are definitely questions that I tend to avoid when people are asking me them in Q and A's or when I'm like out and about, etc, etc. Uh, a lot of them are OnlyFans related. Some of them are not. The majority of them are OnlyFans related. <laughs> so today I thought it'd be interesting to sit down, grab myself a little beverage. Look at me, it's only a small beverage. Normally it's a big one. I'm being good. My friend Amy bought me the best, um, I can't pronounce his name, Friesen. It's an alcohol brand. They do wine, they do Prosecco, they do champagne. And she bought me the entire like advent calendar for it. It's beautiful. Best advent calendar I ever did get. Thank you, Ames. Um, and they come with these, I wouldn't even say mini bottles because they're not really. So yeah, I'm gonna have one of these. Although I have a bit of a cold right now. So if I sound a little bit stuffy, then that's why. I've had a cold the last few days. Um, that's not gonna stop me from filming. <laughs> I asked on my Instagram, go follow my Instagram, for uh, like only fan questions and just questions in general. Um, and then we would sit down and discuss. This class is dirty. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do today. I've done a few only fan Q and A's question things in the past um and i feel like a lot of the questions tend to be the same so my answer doesn't often change but i mean it's always a new audience if you feel like i'm repeating myself that is why the most popular question that i got is surprisingly i thought it was going to be like how much money do you make in a day what's the most money you've got made da, da, da. that actually wasn't it it was what were you doing before only fans which baffled my mind because obviously i do not just do only fans we have established Welcome to the YouTube channel. <laughs> when people ask me what I do, I need to just establish this right now. When people ask me what I do for a living, um, never really is my answer OnlyFans for multiple reasons. I feel like when I'm at like events, like YouTube events or social media events or whatever, um, people tend to be very accepting in this industry, which is something that I'm so lucky that like is, a is around me. Obviously you get certain people that are like, you do OnlyFans, oh my God. What a slag. And then also I have to then explain that I don't do nudes or any sexual stuff. It's purely just like lingerie content, uh, bikini stuff and just stuff like that, which again, and I've said this before, no disrespect to anybody that does anything like that. Good freaking hell for you. I just couldn't. <laughs> yeah, I still consider myself YouTuber, then OnlyFans person. But what was I doing beforehand? So beforehand, I was working in retail uh, for a charity shop company. I don't know if I've said this in the part, I, I know that I've said that I worked in a charity shop. I was um, like floor staff. A lot of the time when you say you worked in like a charity shop, it's like, oh, so you like were volunteering. We did have volunteers, but I was getting paid for it. It was like my actual job. Um, you have like a manager and assistant manager and then one or two members of other staff, uh, which was me, as well as your volunteers. And the thing is I say the name of the company, but I'm not sure if one, I'm illegally allowed to, and two, if I've done it before, I feel like I have, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not gonna say it because I have slated the company that I worked for because they were terrible, terrible. And if I'm, I need to do research on whether or not I'm allowed to, and two, if I have, because if I have already said it, then I'll just go ham and I'll do an entire video explaining why they're so shit. Well, when my experience was so shit. But yeah, so I was working there three to four days a week. And I was also trying to get this YouTube channel off the ground because I've been doing YouTube for the longest, the longest time. Like I'm talking, I am 23 years old now and I'm talking like 14 year old me, like grinding, <laughs> pretending I was Zoella. Um, and it wasn't going like super well. Plus I was young and I was going through so much. My mind was messed up. I was being, I pulled out of school and homeschooled and I was in therapy for a million different things. It just wasn't a good time. So there are many reasons why that did not lift off the ground. All that, I went to college lockdown happened and i think it was during lockdown that i did a video on this channel and it was like trying only fans for the first time for a week like seeing how much money i can make selling bikini it was something like that i can't even remember the title it'll be on screen and I, I i don't think it did like the video did very well and i don't think i even made really anything but i was surprised that i still made like something because i didn't expect to make anything because i didn't have a following and it was just it was just very confusing for me and i think i didn't continue it but i think i kept the like account up and slowly I got like a little bit more. And then I think I started posting again, like on it, just bikini pictures. And then 
I went back into my job and like I say, they were so, so awful to me. Me and a few other people actually. And I would have like panic attacks every morning before I went in. I'd have panic attacks there, pass out there, and then have to sort myself out and just get back to work. Um, and I was just so miserable and so unhappy. And I think I realized like, I was earning a similar amount from OnlyFans um, and some YouTube videos like put together that I was earning at this job and I was working three, four days a week there and like doing everything that I was doing at home. And I was like, well, one, this is putting me in a really bad mental like place. And if I'm doing the same amount of money working from home only a few days, how much money would I make if I was putting my all into it? And I, I was like really scared to make that decision, but I had like a massive argument with my manager one day because I'd put, maybe I am spilling the tea. <laughs> I booked time off because it was my friend Maisie's birthday. And I think, I can't remember what we were doing. Must, must have just been going out like during the day we were going out day drinking, which I know isn't like a massive deal. Like, you know, it's just a birthday, but like me and my friends celebrate our birthdays very heavily. And Maisie's like one of my closest friends. And also I had booked it off in advance. It's not, it's not even like I booked it off as in like, instead of doing my four days that week, I was only doing three. I had moved my days. I had just like specifically requested a different day months in advance. She had like, my manager had allowed it. So that was all good, um, completely fine. And then the like, the day before she wasn't in, she sends me a text and she's like, oh, um, by the way, need you in tomorrow because I, I was, I'm doing this or whatever. Like, I can't even remember what it was. She was using every excuse like not to come in for like weeks. One of the laziest people I've ever met, just saying. So I reply and I'm like, not being funny. I've had this off for months. It's not really my problem if you can't come in now, you know, that's kind of how a rotor works. And she, she, oh, she just wasn't having none of it. And I was like, well, no. <laughs> Simple as, like, I've booked it off, I'm going out, I was like, I have plans. And uh, we got into a massive row and I just left. <laughs> I didn't even stay the rest of the day. <laughs> I fully just left. It generally is a me problem though, I've always had an issue with authority. Another reason it was a good thing I was homeschooled because I just don't listen to people. And that's when also, it wasn't too long after that, I think I started the reaction channel. Um, I, I generally forget with the timeline, but I'm, I think it, I don't think I'd already had it. I think it was not too long after that. Started the reaction channel. And that started doing really well. And then like this channel started growing a little bit from that channel. And then here we are today. Do you do OnlyFans full time? I don't know what classifies as full time. I do everything full time. <laughs> it's my full time job. I put my all into it. I do it every day. Yes, but also so is YouTube. So is all social media then. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's hard, like depending on the month, because I can't say for every single month, but the majority of them, yes, it's my, biggest income per month. But there's also been months where it's gone like not great, but then there's been a video that I've done that's done really well. So then I've made more that month from then. So it it does differ. The majority of the time, OnlyFans is definitely my highest income that month, but it completely depends. The last few months it's been shit on everything. <laughs> I'd say effort wise, I put more effort into YouTube than OnlyFans. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Any tips for OnlyFans? Okay. I think for me, I say consistency, which is a tip for any social media platform. Like I think when my uh, reaction channel started doing like half decently, that was purely for daily uploads. So it's just consistency, I think to begin with. I would also say um, like shouting out your socials all the time. What's the word? Like promoting. Because I would always have the link in my uh, description for like all my uh, videos on my reaction channel because it's the biggest channel as well as this channel. And that was when I was getting the most uh, like engagement over there. But then a load of people who don't like me very much um, would keep reporting it. So or I'd have to like get rid of all of, literally I spent like an entire day going through all the videos, deleting the description, having to put the link tree in there, which is fine, but a lot of people don't click on the link tree. So unless I stay in videos that, hey, by the way, I have an OnlyFans, a lot of people don't know. And I lost a lot of money, which is why I've been like broke as fuck the last few months. <laughs> Do you regret it? Yes and no. Partly yes, because there are times that people obviously think of me in a certain type of way, which is not true. And like, you shouldn't be defined for like something that you do on the internet. That's a very bad phrase. You should, in certain aspects. <laughs> it depends, okay? I feel like with OnlyFans people, whether you're doing bikini, lingerie, nude, sexual stuff, like you're doing you, you're not hurting anyone. As long as you're being respectful, everyone's doing it the right way. I don't see it as an issue and it doesn't mean that you should then treat somebody with more disrespect 
than you would anybody else just because they have an OnlyFans. Do you know what I mean? And I've definitely, like, people have definitely treated me differently when we've been out in public at an events or if a guy that I've, like, been talking to finds out or a boyfriend's friends or, do you know what I mean? Like, stuff like that. It's There's definitely a lot of backlash that comes with it. And I don't even do it, like, dramatically. And I, I don't even have, like, a lot of following from it. I can only imagine how people, like, Lauren Alexis feel who, um, you know, are really well known from it and, you know, good for them. But I can imagine it's really difficult. But also I don't regret it because, I mean, it was a lot more money than what I was getting from a retail job that was making me want to kill myself every day. And I don't say that lightly. <laughs> Just to take some lingerie pictures and make myself feel cute as hell. So no. <laughs> like I said, I've done loads of these OnlyFans videos, but I mean, sometimes I say the answers don't change. I guess sometimes they do change over time. So if you want me to have an, do an entire OnlyFans related video then let me know uh you can either like dm me questions when i ask for it on my instagram or just comment them down below here and i'll make sure to check here before i do the next video but also i want to uh take a look at some other questions that when um <laughs> when i wrote like oh questions i've been avoiding that these were like the main ones <laughs> the first one a stupid amount of people asked me and it was have you ever slept with a fan <laughs> I wanna say no, I don't think I have. I mean, I have like 20,000 people that watch this channel and like 70,000 that watch my other channel. I don't have fans. I have people that watch some videos every now and then. If the question is, have I ever slept with anybody that's watched my videos, then yes. <laughs> but that's because of my friends. They were my friends before. <laughs> I'm not helping this for myself. No, I've never slept with anybody that knows me from YouTube, like has watched my content and been like, oh, I like her videos subscribe and then gone out and met them and then slept with them that's never happened to my knowledge i did go on a date with a guy and then um after like a few drinks he goes to me like i've got a confession to make and i was like what and he goes i recognize you and i was like you do and he was like yeah and he was like i was like from what and he was like you make lucifer content <laughs> i was like what <laughs> he's like yeah i've seen you on my um on my like YouTube recommended. He was like, oh, I love you. I love Lisa and I was like, oh. And it shouldn't have made me uncomfortable because like, it's not his fault that he's seen content, but I, I, I didn't see him again. <laughs> Which is now really unfair now that I'm thinking about it because like if I was on a date, like, okay, let's just imagine I'm chilling, I'm on my phone, I'm living my best life. And a YouTuber that I find very attractive DMs me, hey, wanna go for a drink? I'm like, hey, hell yeah. Or I meet, I meet them on a night out. When I get a drink, yeah. And then I'm, I'm aware of who they are. Is it my fault that I'm aware of who, who they are? No. Like they put themselves in the public eye. I am aware of who they are. I enjoy their content. Just because you enjoy someone's content doesn't make you a fan. You can just enjoy their content and go out on a drink. Like, do you know what I mean? But then it's awkward. Do you tell them? Do you not tell them? Because I feel like if he told, like he told me and then I got weird about it and I didn't see him again. But if he didn't tell me and I carried on seeing him, that would have made it far worse. So I don't know, I'm just sort of digging myself a hole here. Poor lad. Why have you stopped posting your boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> I have stopped posting my boyfriend because I no longer have a boyfriend. <laughs> yes, it was almost a three year relationship. Yes, I'm okay. Yes, it's also the reason why I haven't been posting too much the last few months. We're all good. There's no, there's no uh, bad blood. We're all good. Realistically, like, no, we are We are all good. It was, um, we were both very unhappy with certain aspects of our lives and we both want different things and our lives were going in very different directions and things happen. There's nothing you can do about it. It is what it is. It was kind of a joint decision, <laughs> but we move. Goals for the new year. I like this question. Ending it on a high. I believe this is gonna be a good, good year. I'm a little bit nervous for new year because I feel like new year always has so much pressure on it to make it like amazing and great and brilliant. And I like new years because I'm a very organized person and I like Sundays and Mondays because Sundays I plan my week and Mondays I do the same thing, but like in more depth. And that makes my mind happy and clean. <laughs> and I feel like it's the same with new years. I get to plan everything so neatly. And I've been using the same bullet journal for two years and I just bought a new one and spent 20 pounds on a bloody bullet journal, which is a stupid amount of money to spend on a bullet journal, but I did it anyway. I want it to be a YouTube fucking year. I've had things holding me back in the past, but I don't anymore and I'm excited and I think it's gonna be good. And I'm, I'm generally like living for it. I've got some of the best people around me this year. My heart is very full this year. Not in a romantic way, clearly. <laughs> but like this year has been so like sad and depressing and also 
amazing and adventurous and I've lost some people but I've gained some people and it's all good and I'm excited and it's gonna be good. I think I might do like, instead of yearly like resolutions, I know you do like, yeah, yeah, resolutions. I think I might do monthly ones. Um, I think it might help me a bit more. <laughs> Thank you for everyone who sent in questions on Instagram. Like I said, make sure to follow me on Instagram if you wanna be a part of the next one. I've got so much content coming, I promise. This is gonna be a good year. Well, 2023 is gonna be a good year for content. I'm not gonna be taking breaks like this. Again, I promise. I know I haven't uploaded in like a month. <laughs> and also we've got the reaction channel where we're doing TV shows, films, music, all sorts. So go check out over there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you when I see you.